We have divided the film about the handling of the Heine Omega 500 indirect binocular ophthalmoscope into three chapters. Rechargeable battery, headband and optic settings, controls. First to the rechargeable battery. To prepare the Omega 500 for its use, a charged MPAC unplugged battery is attached to the headband. If necessary, the segment cover is removed from the headband. Then the battery is inserted and slided to the left until it latches audibly. Then the short connection cable of the brightness controller is attached to the battery. Now the instrument can be switched on by using the brightness control. The brightness can be regulated accordingly. The next chapter, headband and optics settings. First, the protective cap is removed. There are two large knobs on the headband. With the rear knob, you can set the head circumference. The battery should be placed slightly downwards. With the upper knob, the height can be adjusted. The headband should sit firmly but comfortably. First, make sure that the optics carrier is in working position. Then put your left hand on the large position control on the left side of the headband. This allows you to adjust the optics up or down. The advantage of this design? You can fold the optics unit upwards into a rest position, for example for a short patient conversation. Now, loosen the adjustment knob so that the optics unit is freely adjustable. Guide the optics as close as possible to your eyes. Then, secure the adjustment knob. Next, the pupil distance is adjusted. To do this, look at your thumb in the light spot alternating with the left and right eye and move the corresponding eyepiece so that the object appears exactly in the center of your field of view. Then use the left or right small knob to align the optical unit so that the light spot appears centered vertically in the view. The thumb should now be focused. The stereo optical vision of the instrument should now result in a round and synchronous overall picture. Now to the controls. The lever for adjusting the light apertures can be easily accessed on the left side of the optics. Here you can choose between a large, a medium, and a small circular aperture, as well as the diffuser. To select the aperture of your choice, the lever is adjusted by moving it out towards the patient. The diffuser is recommended if you want to examine the periphery more intensively. The filters are located on the right side. The red free filter is switched on to clearly detect the vascular structures or retinal changes. The yellow filter is recommended for light sensitive patients. Use the blue filter when examining the cornea with fluorescence. And here's the best part. There is still a lever underneath the optics unit. It allows you, and this is unique, to adjust convergence and parallax synchronously. You can now easily adjust the optics of the instrument to enter a smaller pupil size without sacrificing stereopsis. In addition, all settings of the illumination beam can be panned by several degrees to achieve a better illumination of the fundus periphery. Now we wish you a successful time with your Heine Omega 500 ophthalmoscope. Heine. Quality made in Germany.